I found the very first spray painting that I ever bought. It is over 17 years old and it is not in a good state. In fact, it's beyond repair. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another spray paint video. If this is your first time here, please take a second, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so that you become the first to know when I release new content. So this video is going to be based on the very first spray paint that I ever bought. It's uh, over 17 years old, this spray paint, and I thought I'd lost it. Found it again recently and realised it wasn't in a good state. It was all cracked and it was torn and it wasn't something you put in a frame anymore. So I want to recreate this and put it on the wall behind me here, next to Arnie and my Terminator painting. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up, comment below if you want to see anything else being painted, and don't forget to check out some of my previous videos, I'll put them in the cards. Also, if you want to see the world's very first spray paint artist, I've done a video on spray art history, so don't forget to check that out and leave it a like as well. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. Thank you. Alright, so we'll start this one off with an unboxing. What is in this box? So I found this box when I moved house a few years ago. And this is a spray painting that I bought 17 years ago. And to be honest, I forgot I had it. We had it framed and up in the house for a short while. And then we moved house once before. And we took it down and it's been boxed probably for about 10, 11 years maybe. This was the painting that got me into spray art. Let's have a look. Let's see what it's like. Oh, it's rolled up so badly. There we go. Let's see if we can prop it down with spray cans. No, nope, that's not happening. It's been curled up for so long, it needs something heavier. Hold on. There we go. They're heavy. They're barbell weight collars for stopping the weight slipping off the end of your barbells and your dumbbells. So I use these at home. Good second use for them. So there we go. We can see this now. This was the very first spray paint I ever saw done. And I saw all these things getting added and the mountains getting created and the plants. I was absolutely amazed. And this is what got me into it. I couldn't believe the stuff this guy did. It took him about 10-15 minutes to do. I stood and watched the whole thing. Um, and you know, I've done one similar to this. In the, now with planets and various space features and the lake and all that but when you see it for the first time it's utterly unbelievable so this is what got me into it and if anybody knows the spray paint artist from Ibiza 2003 in Spain June July 2003 in Spain it'd be so cool if anybody did happen to know who that guy was and he got in touch now that would be amazing just to say hey that's my painting but this is this was brilliant. I love this. I love these the mountain features. I loved it. Even that, you just I mean, that's probably just a palette knife, just one single line, but it was amazing at the time. Just go He did that. This is all cracked now, it's all scored. It's got lines through it. You you wouldn't frame it now really. I'd have to recreate this and if I wanted one like this framed, but that's what I'm gonna try and do. So let's get going, let's do one like this. In honor of the first painting that I ever bought. Thank you. 
tactics that they're easier to use. And